Alright, hey, how's it going everybody? Today at Kurt's Creatures, we're going to be uh, feeding some animals, cleaning some cages, and just giving a little explanation of what each one of these animals are. So we're going to start off over here in this tank. We're going to mist it down just a, a tad. Give it some moisture. Underneath this little hide right here, we're going to find a beautiful banana ball python. And it looks like he's getting ready to go into shed. He's got blue eyes. So whenever, you can normally tell when your snake's about to go into shed because they'll get a coating, a blue coating over their eyes. And they're kind of blind at this point. They can't really see too well. They can still use their heat sensory pits in the front of their faces so they still know food. Some snakes will eat during shed, some snakes won't. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and see if he'll eat some food today for us. What's up, little guy? What's up? This is Bob. Bob, the minion Bob. He likes to sing his banana song all the time. That's a joke for you. For you guys that know about banana ball python. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and give you a little taste of some food. I think he's kind of camera shy. And again, he's going into shed, so he might not be interested in food right now. Doesn't look like it. He wasn't really interested in food. Again, he's going into shed, so he's probably not interested right now. So we're going to move on to the next one. And the next one that we're going to feed is going to be... We're going to go down here and feed this inchy, this inchy ball python. And so this is a super inchy female ball python. She's really pretty. I love her patterns and colors. So we'll go ahead and get her over here. Really pretty belly. Mice are friends, not food. She's usually a really good eater. So it's not as pretty as it would be once he sheds. I'm going to use my gloves for this one. Uh, just see the kind of mood she's in. He's in. Looks like he's definitely not going to be messed with. Yeah, definitely not in a good mood. Calm down, calm down. This is an Amazon tree boa. Just kind of make sure she's not coming up with my face. <clears throat> Normally these guys don't like to be handled. 
so I'm just trying to get it used to um, being handled a little bit. Really pure, pretty snakes. Very pretty snake. Not quite as pretty as like an emerald tree boa or a green tree python. <clears throat> but definitely still a really beautiful snake. So this is going to be a juvenile pastel champagne male ball python. We're going to take his water bowl out. So we got a spicy little meatball back here to clean out of his cage while he's eating. Hey boy. Hey boy. It's okay. It's just daddy. Come on. Alright, so this is a pastel champagne ball python. He's a juvenile, but he could probably go ahead and impregnate some females at this age. But we're not going to breed him just yet. We already have our projects going for this season. He's got some really pretty color to him. He's got some nice little feet back here. You see his feet? His little feet right here. These are his little claws. Those are his remnants of from feet from a long time ago. <clears throat> hey boy, you ready to eat something? Hmm? You hungry? This one always misses for some reason. Alright, so next up we have our spider het pied het ghost female. This is going to be a project for about two years from now. I'm going to breed this one with this Mojave het pied male that I have down here and get some piebald babies. So, pull her out. So, this is the spider het pied het ghost. You can look at how pretty these markings are on here. Let's see if we can get her head, head out. She's really pretty. Come on, girl. Yeah. 
You want to say hi to the camera? Mm -hmm. So down here we have our male Mojave Hep Pied, 100% Hep Pied Mojave. This is the one that I'm going to breed with my lesser pastel female. Hopefully um, this season we'll get some blue-eyed leucistic babies. That's what we're keeping our fingers crossed for. So let me take this water bowl out. He's deep in the shed. Um, he may or may not. He, he didn't eat last week, so he may be really hungry, or he just may still not want to eat because he's really deep in the shed. So we'll find out if he really wants to eat something. All right, boy. Still, he might want to wait till after he gets the shed off before he eats. That's how they get whenever they shed. They don't. A lot of times, they just don't want nothing to do with food, which is completely okay. They can go months without eating. He's definitely not interested in in the food. So we're gonna take this over here and we're gonna give it to this girl over here. She's probably hungry. Don't bite me. Get down. All right, are you hungry, girl? Oh, yeah. oh no. She may have eaten before I got her, but not sure. So neither one of these are interested in food right now. showed you all of uh, the creatures that we have here at Kurt's Creatures right now. Um, we'll be adding new stuff every week or every other week. We'll keep you updated on what we're adding. Um, if you'd like to see a particular more for a particular animal, go ahead and leave a comment in the description below. There. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up for us, please, so we can go ahead and grow this channel. We'd love to have you out today. Come on back and see Kurt's Creatures.